In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to use the Match Color option to make the colorization of different clips inside your project to be closer to one another. Oftentimes, we're working with footage that was filmed under different situations or with different equipment or during different times of day, and you'd like it to be a little more uniform in its coloring. We're going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. For example, here on track number one, I have three stock clips. The first is a man outside. And you notice that the coloring is pretty good, but it's not like the next clip where we're much more in the warm tones. We have dark, but it's warm, a lot more reddish. If we go to the one of the young man, we have both the warm tones and we have a brighter sense of the coloring of the clip. So if we want all three of them to be more similar in their overall coloring, we can use the color match to accomplish that. Let me show you how to do that. First thing we want to do is highlight the clip. The long way to get to color match is to click on Fix and Enhance above the timeline, then choose Color Match, and then click on the button and that will get you into the color match tool. I like to show you a quicker way. All you need to do is highlight more than one clip and you'll have a button above the timeline that says color match. You can use one clip and then move the mouse to a non-adjacent clip, hold the control key down and click and you can color match in this case the first and the third one because now the button's active. If you highlight more than two clips and click Color Match, you'll get an error message. It says it can only be used with two clips at once. But if you click on OK, it will still go to the Color Match tool. Here's what the tool looks like. We have a reference window and we have a target window. If I want the reference video to be something other than what it's selected here, all I need to do is double click on the video I want and that will move it to the reference window. If for some reason I have these two reversed, I'm going to move my timeline over so I can see his face. If I have these reversed and want this to be the reference window, all I need to do is click on the double arrows and it will flip my reference window and my target window. So once I have two clips, all I need to do is go ahead and go to step number two, which is select the frame inside that I want to make sure is the frame for my color match. It doesn't apply so much in this short clip, but if you have a longer clip where the colorization changes quite a bit from the beginning to the end, you get to pick the actual frame that you want to be the base for your color. And then with that selected, and here's my target window, I'm going to click on Match Color. Now you notice nothing happened. Why? Because my level is at zero. The default is one. And I can adjust the level of match, how much it, it actually changes the colorization of the target clip by moving the slider left or right. So one attempts to make it exactly like the reference clip and zero basically doesn't do anything at all. So you can be as aggressive as you want in this particular situation. So maybe I'll go to maybe about an eight in this case. And then I click apply. And now it has changed the colorization of that clip. If I want to do the woman like I did the young man, I'm going to highlight both of those, do color match. And now I have the young man and I have the woman and I'll click on match color and it lightened it a bit. If I think that's too much again, I can pull it back a little bit, make it a little more subtle of a match or I can raise it up and I could click reset uh, if I'm not sure what I want to do, but click match color as often as I want, move the slider and then click on apply when I'm done. You can only do two at once, but you can match multiple clips to a single clip by pairing them up using this technique. 
So now the three clips are closer to each other in their general color tones, and that's what color matching can do for you in CyberLink PowerDirector.